to perks predictions, you mentioned that some companies are offering additional perks for working parents. Are those companies receiving any backlash from employees that are not parents? Yeah, that's a great question, Amanda. Uh, and, and it touches on, I think, one thing that organizations struggle with um, is this kind of notion of fairness in, in the sense of, well, I see that th they're getting X perk and should I get this perk? Or, uh, you know, they're getting something for being a working parent. And, and so, so and there's no right or wrong answer to that. But I think that I've always encouraged, um, and I think, organizations to move towards that of, it's do the right thing first, not fairness um, as an organization. And, um, you know, different ones have different needs. And, and I think, uh, uh, you know, one element is be able to describe the problem that organization is facing and, and the why behind that perk. Um, and even acknowledging that it may not be fair, but that this is the choice that the organization has taken because of X and Y reasons. So I think sometimes, that can happen and it's so it's there's an undercurrent that this is unfair and so then the response is all right well i'm just going to go do some pay some money over here that doesn't have the value to the organization and the hard part with perks is that it leads to entitlement pretty quickly so if it's not really care and you're doing it to kind of you know just make it more fair that, that it may have more short-lived um benefit so i know that was a more generic answer than you're saying here specifically on working parents.